five. Left. Now that I have your attention, let the madness commence! What is up, you radical guys and gals up there? It's me, Radical95, here with the newest installation of my Halo 5 map showcase series, Map Quest. The show where I, Radical95, give you, the viewers, a tour of maps fresh out of the works. Now I already know what you're thinking, judging by uh, the uh, in-game thumbnail how we're seeing here. Hey yo, Radical, what? what the hell's going on? Why isn't there her lewd pin-up of your OC on the left side of the screen? He's showing off her tits or ass or whatever like you've been doing for the past couple months or so with the last couple ones of these you've been doing. Yeah, about that work rat on for her Xbox removing the ability to upload custom screenshots from the beta version of Console Companion app uh, I mentioned a long time ago. Yeah, Microsoft recently found out about how, how people are taking advantage of the, this workaround and just cut uh, uh, uploading captures from on the uh, Console Companion app out entirely. Meaning, uh, I technically will no longer be able to uh, put my own on Radical 195. I have touch uh, on my creations anymore. But hey, that the it's not all doom and gloom. You can still see he the thick ass grill holes on my a YouTube, DeviantArt, and, and Twitter thumbnails. It's only the in-game thumbnails that are affected by this, not my other stuff. No, no. Hence why you are still able to see the inertia on the thumbnail. She, he's one of my many OCs. It, as if it wasn't obvious enough. Anywho. Who, wait, I forgot what I, I was saying, or was gonna say here. And I'll, we'll probably remember it when and we're loading up the map. Ooh, that was a fast load up time. Usually it takes way longer. Okay. And there we go. Oh, it took long. Okay, we're loading. And I see Brenda. And first is online. Shit, I'm trying to think of what I ha had written down. Of what I discussed. Uh, I was going to discuss on this map. Shit, I knew I rehearsed it. So how am I forgetting it? Oh, oh yeah, I'm starting to remember now. Yeah, this map that I recently he finished is just uh, I took a really long time to get to the showcase of because I've been busy with other shit and mostly loot art stuff. Of which I've honestly been getting burned out of as of late. Hey, your boy's been working on and off on this little project. Heck, on a map set with it in the New Hill suburbs of which inertia calls, calls home. If you recall from I'm inertia's lore on my DeviantArt pay, he lives in the suburbs of of New Hill City, specifically along on the beach side region of the suburbs, the coastal area. So that how it technically mean, mean today we're looking at at the ho hometown of the superhero when training herself. Yeah, that's what we do today, boys and girls. Gotta account for the twenty-one percent and the. Had her. <clears throat> Shit, I was gonna, gonna try. I am imagine the 21% of you that, according to my YouTube analytics, takes their female. All that watch this, but. but uh, damn it! And I forgot it again. But let's be. Let's keep it about 50 here. You're probably not here to uh, watch me ramble on about my YouTube analytics. 
You're here to watch me ramble on about how the new map that I've just finished making. And, and ramble on about a new map I've just finished making? Making? I shall. Okay, so... Well, on the blue side, the map of which we initially spawned in, and we, and this is the, the area where we get had a good view of the co coastline and the, of New Hill suburbs, as well as a a, a function for show of the look or the staircase, so people can get down down to the beach. Unfortunately, it does not. It does not work in gameplay, and it's only for show. And if you even try to get down to the beach, yeah, you'll die, you'll just die from fall damage. Implying that's even a thing in this game. You can literally fucking geet yourself up off a goddamn skyscraper and, and still full bonk down on the ground just fine. You'll probably suffer some... I'm, I'm left handing lag. Like a la Apex, but that's the worst that, that could really happen. Yeah, there's a bit of landing lag. Okay, it's a go back to the show, okay? Yes, as you were able to see before, you can clamber on top, top of, of the many houses and crates that, that you'll come across uh, along this map. And there's lots of places to do that. So seize the high ground if and when you can. You just gotta clamber up, up a couple objects and rooftops. Is that easy? Also, a couple of cars in the street. Easy if you can. Those help too. By a long shot. Okay, so by this tree that, that's in the center of, of the a roundabout, so is the standard spawn for two, two frags and a BR. With as much as this weapon is shat off on, on by the rest of the Halo a player base. I personally find nothing wrong with this. As if you all don't mind me being controversial. Okay, so oh, continuing along the main route through Ooh Daisy Drive, if here behind this white van we have a spawn for or an SMG. A likewise spawn can be found up on the other side of the map, which we will get to at a later point. But for now, let's take a little bit of a left up, up this hill, past the cliffside where we could see a lit. And a little white Spartan doll, along with a fishing rod. I right, oh, over the cliff. Okay, yeah, in retrospect, uh, I don't think this would really work. I think this works a lot better with, and there wasn't a beach here. Ah, what the hell. Oh. Well, I'm too lazy to fix that, and we're already filming. So let's just continue with this train wreck. Yeah. Now let's, let's go back there and, and take a left again, followed by a right into this little tree fortress. Again, another for high ground point you can, can snag. Yeah, high ground will be your best friend in this map, especially with all the places you can go. Oh, just see that. I'm talking about on top of houses, on top of cars, and other buildings and shit. Or, specifically in the case of this treehouse, clambering up and inside the treehouse. And then just popping some shots off, off in here when you can. Or, if you're fast enough to grab it, and what? One of these, these decked out grenade launchers. Which I, I actually he wouldn't have never known about. Oh, ha, 
Had it been for, for my friend Wisdom Shock that showed me a glitch, it's with the weapon pack. And specifically the grenade launcher. Where? Hold on, let me see if I can delete something to try and replicate hate this glitch. Ah, damn it. Okay, there we go. Let me see if I can delete something real quick so I, I can try I can show you my process. Um, and then, 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 Okay, I guess this can stand to go for right now. I'll replace it later. Okay, yeah. So let me show you my process. First, I took a good regular for all whole weapon pad. Had the a selected weapon set to railgun. Set the configuration to ooh, arc light, and then moved over to uh, the reach grenade launcher. Thus, get. Giving the a grenade launcher a fresh new coat of paint. Ain't that that is ne that is supposedly one of the unused files with it in Halo 5. So oh, that would mean, ladies and gentlemen, in our very hands, we are holding what could have been. And much the same it can obviously be found on the other side of this map. Yeah, I wanted to switch it up from the usual little sniper rifle and rocket launcher spawns that, that are always standard on my maps. Thanks, thanks again to Wisdom Shark for showing me this little trick. I'm definitely gonna have to incorporate it into uh, my other maps. If I can. And, and within reason, of course. Actually, while we're still here at the treehouse, we might as well I'll take a look at the uh, energy sword spawn that, that spawns right underneath the uh, tree fortress. That leads up into the tree house. Okay, now we have a chance to properly look at that. Let's keep go going onwards and leftwards. Or er, eh, into a backyard. The house is a spawn on first or stronghold terminal. And a little custom built sprinkler. That actually mo moves around in circles. Yes, I scripted it to do that. Though I've been getting rusty recently. He was had, had complex scripting. I still know how to do basic stuff. Well, like the animation on the sprinklers, but that's about it. Now let's continue along the pathway and see some of the other amenities that at the his home's backyard are contained, such as the his swimming pool, where you can actually go in, and it has a spawn for or a hydro launcher. Who would have thought? Just a quick disclaimer, do not. I trust. I am fuck. Oh, wait. Oh god, that, that. That just went completely out the window. Oh, I fu fucking choked on it. You know, let's just cover for the little mini golf core. Or that has like a little extra. Well, uh, we're still here. We might as well cover that. Hit for like a little bit. It also serves as a potential respawn on location. Doing about the uh, one, two, three respawn points that are here. Also, this is there because as well it was playtesting it. I realized that had people could just clamber up on the umbrella on the table. And then just try and clamber up on the wall to uh, lead the map. So I figured, why not? I'd stop it from becoming a problem um, before it even has a chance to uh, be. And 
just the invisible wall. That projectile can, for some reason, go through just fine. Okay, now let's get off, off of this, this person's property. And back onto the street. Where we, we see a yellow house right next to it. And a garage that... And I, I can only assume that they were unloading stuff uh, from, from their, their truck from their van into. I can only assume that's what's going on here. I don't know. I only made this map. Okay. So, well, this house actually is a brick pathway that, that leads into the main street. Eat of Daisy Drive. And at this intersection, we can find ourselves a spawn for or a suppressor ne next to the as little lawnmower prefab I borrowed. And a, another sprinkler. We're all positioned in front of a bed of flowers. Okay, continuing leftwards. There's one of two drop-offs that you, you can take on, on to lower ground on, fr on this part of the yard. Both of which will lead to about here. But if you continue to downwards, you'll come across a sewage drain that's only really here for show. But behind the rock that's fa facing the sewage drain, you'll find yourself a spawn for or a light rifle. Oh. Also, two splinter nades. Can't forget those things. Now, if we continue down here, uh, underneath the main bridge, it's making it, its return for ever since God knows how long, the Sentinel Beam. Right, this, this puppy's returning for this map. <laughs> it's got 69% energy left. Nice. Oh, I'm going to keep this. Just so I could it keep the 69 on, on there. Okay. So, if we continue who through who the under her side, the bridge, we'll end up on the other side of the hazy drive, where we could find, who would I guess, an equivalent in storm drain, with some actual uh, water coming out on the other side. That only serves as a visual effect. And likewise, we have a spawn for, or two more splinter nades, and a light rifle. I suppose we could uh, take a stop up here at, or at this yellow house real quick. Nah, I got two who plasma nades uh, and a, a covenant carbine. Before hopping o over the a fence here. And then going back through, through the uh, underside of the bridge. Back to where we were before. Now with that said, let's keep going. As we go up these stairs past another her house. This one, huh, housing the two, two splinter nades and, and covered a carbine shot. Hot spawn and for, on this house over here. Only this one has a greenhouse. Which, yes, you can clamber on top of. And even peek inside of. It's not that clean to say the least. It looks way better on the outside. Head versus on is when you're looking from above. A perfect vantage point to jump up on top of the this Dewangian drop pod. That's been busted open. Probably because the the wall. Hungers 
have recently he had he been attacking this area in particular. I mean, shit, the wreckage is still here. I mean, just look what it did to that gas station. Eh, and how else can you explain that? That house just just floating in the air on its own little island. Plus all the other alien-like stuff that's over here on this side. I mean, just look at it. For like a few seconds before we, we get back on track. Seriously, we go in off track way too much in this. Oh, also at this Y section here, her branching between in the uh, other her yellow house eh, and over to the gas station is a spawn for a blaster pistol. It goes pretty good with it. Any precision weapon you got, cause that, and you, her as good as golden, and to go for a new combo, just get a charge shot off off of someone, and then, and get hit them with a headshot while how their shields are down. But I don't really think I need to, to explain ain't how to get a new combo. Okay, continuing down this stairwell. Well, as we take a, a left, we enter the gas station. Which houses a spawn for a DMR. Which we can take inside to see... Yeah, this place is definitely went into a crap. No thanks to this drop pod that came crashing through here. Those the Wongers, I tell you. No. No fucking respect. They just send their drop pods crashing through gas stations. And then shit. Make people's homes, homes levitate up in the air. They're on island and out of the ground. Even dropping their own satellite lights and shit on, on other people's houses. Absolutely no goddamn respect. I mean, just look at what this one did to... But the sound like this, I can only assume, belongs to this house. No respect whatsoever. Though, so considering what, uh, what was done to them by us humans specifically during the war, the radical ones, yeah. I can see why they're doing all this, this shit to us. And why they hate, hate humans most of all. Okay, well, the, there's nothing really special back here behind, behind the gas station. We could still go around it uh, to find the crumble old exit. And some Dewong. And the Dewong you in lightning rod of some kind. I don't know, one of those things that har harnesses electricity from lightning. I forget what it's called, but I do know it's a thing. Yeah, this area back here, here's what makes a red team spawn. On the a flipped over car, the a busted up gas station, on the drop pod, or the house. Those that leads up the hill to, to their SMG spawn. And up to who their spawn for or the air grenade launcher. Before going down on the hill here, or to uh, this belonging encampment. Hence, all the red and black axe stuff that that's around. I would have customized a, a shield that ha, had came up on these generators to uh, be red as well, but there's no such option. Only for, for the base. Is the generator or the trim and the glass? But it turns out these things can actually block shots. Yep, you saw that right. 
These things can actually deflect tech projectiles. Making for, for some pretty fucking good cover. I don't know about you. And what the hell is this doing here? Oh, it's part of this. All right. Just I didn't really notice it until now. Oh, and there is a way to take the, these things down and leave the people trying to take cover behind them I'm completely exposed. Just go behind the generator and destroy them, like so. Is that easy? Now you got the enemy exposed. Ish. Yeah, it's just easier to make all these. They do respawn after a bit. I just figured I'd mention it. 30 seconds it takes for a new one to come in. So if one of these gets taken down, and you don't really have much uh, other forms to cover or to take, there's always this, this crate and, and this garage. Or the shed here, or that belongs to this house. Which also has a spawn for a suppressor. Like the one we found uh, on the crossway, it's next to the lawnmower back at this house. Which, using the boxes, is here pot out by this house. You can climb up onto the roof and get to here. Again, the high ground is going to be your best friend in this map. Especially with the, the amount of places that you can seize it. So I think the only thing we have left to cover is the contents of the two who dropped pods that had them crash landed here. Specifically, be one of them housing a spawn for a, a hydro launcher. But just as me any missile pulls in it, it acts as the one we found in the pool back on the, the other side of the map. The other side of the map that had the mini golf course. The one where, where I tried to make that quick at the back finding. Hydro launchers inside the swimming pools, but I choked off on horribly. Also, wasn't there something in here? Inside this? Nah, I didn't think so. But other than that. Yeah, I would think that about does it for, for my showcase uh, of Inertia, his hometown of Daisy Drive. We, it is now a fully playable map within Halo 5 Guardians. If you want to check out this map app for yourself... Wait. Shit. And I fucking choked on it again? Uh, okay, let me start over. <clears throat> Anywho, if you want to check out this map for any reason whatsoever, the instructions to do so will be conveniently listed in the description below for your convenience. Conveniently! As usual, if you haven't liked this video, then prove it! Drop a like! If this happens to be the first video on my channel you're seeing, be sure to subscribe to the channel so you always be alerted when new videos, like this one, get released. Provide your channel notifications are on, because you two and I both know how YouTube do. They won't I'll let you know uh, when new shit is from ETS uploads unless you click the little, little bell icon that appears at the hit that subscribe button. And then, BOOM! Now you can get that proper or down notification. I will help you as a YouTuber, but you'll be happy as day. Also, if you know someone else that might like to say it like you did, then help! Why not share them? We can be replaced there, button down below. Anyway, until next time, this is Raku95, signing off. Peace and out.